Hi, Bana. Um, I think one of the highlights of our relationship is the one I like the most vivid and the one I did, never forget is we were supposed to go to church. It was early Sunday morning. And I was worried because you were rushing because we woke up late. You were staying over during that time. And then I knew you were hungry, and I was hungry too. So what we did is I basically gave you one of the yogurts that I ate. And I didn't know that it had uh, peanuts in it. <laughs> so basically, basically that whole morning I felt like a terrible ate because I tried to kill the younger sister I never had. And that is the highlight of the relationship because it sees as I she's the responsible ate. I call myself I'm the dynamic ate. <laughs> because we try to take things on a new level. And that is my profound wish to you today is well I'm not trying to tell like to do things that will make you go die, but my most profound wish is that as you go into adulthood, the most difficult thing that people have the hardest to transition to is to take risks because when you're older the first thing that you need to do is to make choices because your parents are not going to make your choices when you go to college a lot of things will be brought onto you you'll have to know how to manage your time you know how to um, choose organizations choose the activities that you like that is not basically your parents is not going to be guiding to you you all day like from before. So when you're an adult, you make choices and you have to have courage to go and push forward through it because the most important thing for you to do is to believe in yourself and to know that whatever happens is that we always love you, Jesus loves you, no matter what you do, regardless if you fail or succeed, if you're whatever, whichever aspect of your life, Jesus would always love you and your family, your friends, and us, your second family, will always love you. So don't ever, ever be afraid to try new things and always take risks. Let's give her a hand. Next one here is Miss Camille. Miss Camille Pasquale. Camille Pasquale. So I was gonna wing this one, but then I started getting scared because everyone's like, Shh. <laughs> so, uh, I wrote something real quick. Um, actually, kind of Googled what 18 candles um, symbolize because I wanted to make it more meaningful. Um, so it says these women, so that's like us, uh, give speeches and advice, state their well wishes for you. Um, and then each light a candle that symbolizes light, a light that will guide the girl on her life journey. So I have a couple of things. Um, when I met Venus, it was through Micah. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, we're a group, we're a crew. Um, yeah. And so over the years, though, as we continually walked, um, it's been such an amazing thing to see how Christ has been molding and shaping her. Um, whenever she goes through like any hardship, she'll be like, yeah, but God is so good. And I'm like, whoa, like this girl has such immense faith. And it's really beautiful to see how you continually put God first, um, especially when you dedicate your time to like um, sing with the worship team or like you go to youth nights, like take the long train, you take the train or bus. Yeah, it's, it's really cool um, to just see Venus continually um, strive to um, seek God. Um, and so my um, advice or like um, thing is that continually hold fast to Christ because um, he is the one that um, will continually mold and shape you to that Proverbs 31 woman. And so everyone has been reading to, with Proverbs today, so I'm going to chime in too. Um, so this is Proverbs 31. It says, she is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. Um, so I think my hope and my vision for you 
is that it keeps calling. <laughs> All right, my hope and vision for you is that you become that strong and fearless woman of God, firmly planted on the Word of God. Um, yeah, and then, um, yeah, that's my vision for you as you step into adulthood. It's going to be scary. It's going to be tough, um, but it is worthwhile. Um, there will be things that will throw you off as well, um, but hold fast to um, Christ. Like, super hold fast to him. If things are happy, like, praise him. If things are, like, super, like, boring, be like, hey, God, like, it's boring right now. <laughs> and so that's my advice. Um, one more scripture from Hebrews. Let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep his promise. Um, I really hope that Christ will be your light. Um, and, yeah, we love you very, very much, and we wish you a very I just want to say that, like everyone has said, um, going into adulthood is a scary, can be a scary thing. But um, just seeing you being able to serve alongside you in the worship team, I've seen your passion, I've seen your desire to serve the Lord, and I just want to encourage you to keep on doing that even as you go to college. God wants to use you out there, and he has great plans for you. Continue to seek him in all that you do, and he will direct your paths. Have a great day, I love you. I'm the wife of Pastor Alan Amada, and the mother of Andrea and Anna. Uh, I just want to wish you a happy birthday to my um, fourth daughter, Venus, and uh, I wish you uh, all the happiness as you go to your college life. And only uh, prayer that uh, I want you uh, to give to you is uh, always obey your mom and dad and um, uh, concentrate in your study, love life, and wait. <clears throat> but um, always uh, think that all the happiness that uh, uh, when you graduate from college, that's the only thing that your mom and your parents do. Expect to you. Happy birthday, my important daughter. Hi, Venus. Happy birthday again. Um, I would like to make a follow up on what Agatha mentioned earlier. During one of those um, nights where you stayed with us, and that morning, where accidentally <laughs> we're uh, feeding you with um, something with peanut. So, um, Continue on with that story. We ended up um, at St. Joseph Hospital, <laughs> and we stayed there for, for an hour or so. And um, she got treated there because we were so scared of, of what might happen with you. And now, when we were there, the um, people from the admitting um, they were asking me questions about you. Your telephone number, where you leave, and all that stuff. <laughs> I really didn't remember. I have no answer to those things because everything is with Micah's. Your phone number, your address, your your mom's. And I remember the two people they had meeting. They were looking at each other and <laughs> looking at me like judging me, like what kind of of. Mother's friend are you? You don't know anything about her. I felt so bad the whole day, but um, you know what's the best thing about you? I thought that would be the last day that you would stay in the house. You have a very forgiving heart because you forgot about it and it was like we started off with a clean slate and um, keep coming back to us, to our house, and um, spending time with us, and allow me to take care of you and be your mom in our house. So, um, happy birthday, and um, the whole family, the first family loves, loves you very much. Happy birthday. Next.